calling Dick Tracy, calling Dick Tracy. Here being assembled in Indianapolis is the next thing in size to that wristwatch radio Dick has been sporting in the comic strips. Electrical circuits whose complex wiring is literally printed on boards are one of the factors making possible a radio so small that while it can't quite be strapped to the wrist, it can be slipped easily into an ordinary suit coat pocket. Even more important than printed circuits in space conservation are the minute transistors, which perform the same function as much larger vacuum tubes, and yet draw only a fraction of the current required by tubes. Thus, they not only take up much less room themselves, but permit the use of much smaller batteries as well. With components all attached to the circuit boards, here's how the connections are soldered, on a tiny Ferris wheel that carefully dips them in a solder bath. A cleaning bath removes excess flux, after which the subassembly is ready for the first of several electrical tests. Further compactness has been accomplished through the speakers that go into these tiny sets, speakers which meet the space limitations and yet are as efficient and distortion-free as though several times their size. These components were designed and built in Illinois. The printed circuits came from a firm in New Jersey, the transistors from Texas, other parts from specialists in Michigan, Wisconsin, and right here in Indiana. So the Regency radios being produced in this factory are actually the end product of a great many other factories, too. In fact, if you investigated thoroughly enough, you'd probably find that half the industrial working force in the nation contributed in one way or another to the making of these little radios. Now the units are finally assembled. Work that started in other plants far away many months ago is brought to fruition here in a matter of a couple of hours. The end result is ready for sale to a customer whose purchase price will flow back through the channels of commerce, some of it, no doubt, ending up in his own pocket or her own pocketbook, along with the radio it paid for. <laughs>